I couldn't miss the opportunity to come and talk, say a few words about her because I consider Sylvia Fischbaum as one of the role models for many people, one of the greatest people I've, ever, I've met here in New York. Uh, I didn't know her before personally, but I have to tell you that I knew everything about her and uh, about her life from the book, um, which is the memoir of Sylvia Fischbaum that was published in Slovakia in 2010. And everything, everybody, half of Slovakia learned how uh, Sylvia is a um, courageous and, uh, and passionate person. Uh, she was uh, very instrumental in Jewish outreach program as a member of International Committee um, at the Ronald Lauder Foundation, which was then responsible in, in um, reawakening of Judaism, Jewish life, its culture and traditions in Slovakia, which was at the fall of the communist regime. Um, her activities and her efforts in, the, in the particularly introducing or reintroducing the art uh, and the life of Ludovic Feld to the world is unparalleled. Uh, Sylvia Fischbaum in, organized an exhibition, the, the US uh, premier exhibition of um, art of um, Ludovic Feld in New York in 2012. She also gave, gave an important speech about two years ago in the um, Czech and Slovak Jewish Society and the Holocaust Memorial. At the same time, she is very, very active in Košice, which is her hometown. They call us ambassadors, us as diploma, uh, diplomats, um, but I think uh, Sylvia Fischmann could be called um, the ambassador of uh, Slovakia too. And I would like you to help me to welcome Sylvia Fischmann. <laughs> Standing here in front of you is really nothing but a dream come true for me and a privilege beyond anything I could ever imagine. Before I go any further, allow me to express my, gra my gratitude to Holocaust Memorial Committee of Long Island, especially Mr. Vincent Marmorali. Thank you, Vince. Thank you. And to everyone involved in making this important event possible. Thank you again for giving me this opportunity to continue the legacy of a great man. An opportunity to introduce you to a unique artist and have you all witness an exhibit of his haunting yet masterful work. Ludovic Feld, my former art teacher, an Auschwitz survivor, sub subject of Dr. Mengele's hideous experiments, and his personal artist. Uncle Lajos, or Lajcibaci, as we students lovingly called him, was born on March 19, 1904, in my hometown of Košice, former Czechoslovakia. He was the youngest of nine children, and due to a serious illness at an early age, he stopped growing. A dwarf reaching barely four feet in height, yet in every way a giant. Later, he claimed that this deformity paradoxically saved his life. Ludovic, sitting on his little stool, drew countless scenes of daily life in a ghetto, portraying the hopelessness, despair, and grief. When Ludovic finally arrived to Auschwitz-Birkenau, he was asked to state his profession. And in German, he answered, Ich bin a maler, I am a painter. Mengele took one look at him, standing at the ramp, and he sentenced him to live. Felt never had any children of his own, but nevertheless, he became a father figure to many boys in his barracks. One morning, it was announced that the release was imminent, but Felt was convinced it was a trap. He persuaded Kalman and 14 other boys to stay put. They hid under the lowest bunk. They laid flat on top of the frozen ground for 10 days and 10 nights. In one of the most famous pieces of footage recorded on that day, Feld is clearly seen leaving the camp with other surviving children. You can easily recognize him by his little round eyeglasses, black cap, and an uneven walk. A clip runs on an endless loop at the Auschwitz Museum even today. 
His story, along with the stories of other dwarfs, was published by two Israeli journalists, Yehuda Koren and Eilad Negev, in their book, In Our Hearts, We Were Giants. The book chronicles the remarkable story of the Ovitzes, a family of dwarfs who all survived Auschwitz together with Feld. It details the agonizing battery of tests they all endured. And they describe how Mengele forced to felt, felt to draw the, other, the twins, the dwarfs, and his personal portrait. The last time I visited Felt was in the spring of 1987 with my family. He told, that, he told us he had been drawing mostly from memory, but he didn't know, and he didn't have any of those pieces either. He emphasized one thing, he never drew from memory again, and it was Mengele's portrait, even though he could do it with his eyes closed. Fortunately, we were able to obtain two of his original drawings. May his art, the art of this Auschwitz prisoner, number A7740, serve as a living proof of our endurance and faith for many generations to come. <coughs> Just like I am, a daughter of an Auschwitz prisoner, A9103, and a mother of two sons. Together with the Jewish community leaders in Koshice, we opened a new gallery adjacent to the old synagogue called the Ludovic Feld Cultural Center. May his memory stand tall. Thank you.